so I did a master's degree in mobile computing um, and I did it part-time actually because I, I, I was already um, in full-time employment at the time and I had a family as well. My job is uh, as a developer but I also run a team of developers and it gave me a broader a broader picture of how um, how that works in, in general you know especially around mobile computing. I'm dealing with graduates um, on a daily basis you know so um, actually having um, the ability to say look I've got a master's degree it gives me a little bit of more kudos and be able to also um, recruit and retain developers as well. The learning process itself actually um, using cutting edge tools to understand the particular subject matter was useful to me. It's enabled me to further products that we're developing at F FHL especially in the mobile arena. So the company is called First Hosted Limited or we've shortened the name now to FHL. We predominantly sell a product called NetSuite or we provide a product called NetSuite which is um, now owned by Oracle so one of the biggest um, organizations in the world from a software point of view and um, my team um, we actually um, provide what's called an ERP system and we make modifications bespoke customizations um, to um, give customers the exact um, elements of NetSuite that they need. I was actually at college over at um, Corden College and Stash University at that point in time had the best reputation for computing faculty in the whole of the country and I still believe that that, that kudos is carried on to this very day so actually I believe that attracts the best computer stu computing students all over the country to this to this area and that's one of the reasons why we always come to Stash University for computing um, students. You know Stoke-on-Trent people I believe are very very friendly we're a very friendly and warm city I believe I mean I've worked in various places all over the country and all over the world and I love this city you know it's a it's a wide open expanse of um, small towns dotted together to make this amalgamation of um, what we call the city uh, but it doesn't feel like a city I don't think and you get it's, it's not like going to Manchester or Birmingham I, I believe um, it's it's much more friendly and a warm place to be. We're a growing city as well with the collapse of the pots, the pits and steel industry. This, this city is reinventing itself, you know, so we've got um, lots of opportunities, I think. And, um, you know, you look at companies like Bet365, Bet massive, massive employer in the area who've um, been a huge success story, you know. Um, ourselves, you know, we're a huge success, success story as well ourselves. We've just been purchased by, uh, was acquired by RSM, one of the biggest accounting practices in the world, you know. So that's a big success story as well in the, in the local, local area. And we've had a number of... Um, um, IT based success stories I believe like Caldwell Communications you know and, this, and, and the actual spawning of um, Phones View and LST Up and Crew all came from um, Stoke on Trent. With, with regard to these open days what we're trying to do is talk to students who may be doing gaming or business or project management um, or any business related um, degrees to see whether or not that we've got any opportunities that they could plug into and um, often we'll find that they come along to our organisation, they won't have a clear idea about what they want to do at that point in time in their lives and we might help firm that up. So we've had, we've had some real good success stories in our, in our undergraduate programme and our organisation has grown organically by um, retaining undergraduates when they've actually graduated. So often they'll come to us for their placement, they'll go back to university, finish the final year and then they'll come back to us. It's not just a case of uh, the undergrads learning from us, we learn from them as well. They're often using cutting edge tools that we've not yet seen. You know, or they're thinking about the different tools that may be on the horizon that are coming up and they, they contribute to the technical growth of our organisation as well. I'm proud to be staff, so I'm proud to be Stoke-on-Trent. Um, <clears throat> my, my family um, were, uh, were born and, and live in this area, all my friends were live and born in this area. Um, I believe a lot of people go through a phase of um, thinking that um, maybe the grass is greener on the other side, but I think most people at the end of the day come back to Stoke-on-Trent because they, they, they realise the grass isn't greener and there are opportunities in, in and around this area, you know. Um, and. It's the, it's the warm, friendly nature of the city, I believe, which is one of the massive bonuses of this area and, and the growth potential.